God forbid if you fist pump Stu. I don't even want to ask you, but I got to ask you because we just got to ask, how's Stu? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Stu's good. Are Stu's, you tired uh, of talking about Stu? Are you tired of talking about Stu to people? No, I mean, Stu's, Stu and I get along good. Like, we have a good relationship, and, um, yeah, he's chill. So, no, I don't get – I don't okay. ever get uh, bothered by it. I know you guys love him. I know you did the whole finding Stu thing. So, yeah, you do, have, uh, you're do, definitely a big fan. Do you beat him when you play golf? Uh, it's, it's close. He's, I think his potential, I don't know. I, I Cause you're a pretty good golfer good. from what I hear. Yeah. You actually had like short story. I, I hold out for Eagle the Thursday before the last race in Atlanta. I thought, nice. Oh my God, I'm going to win this. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And then, and I'm going out there and doing terrible. But no, I mean, he's, he's probably, I mean, he's shot better scores than I, than I have. And he was really good at one point. Um, but now he's kind of going through, uh, I don't know, a little lull. So we're pretty close. We we struggle together. Jordan Bailey told me that sometimes he'll golf with him a couple years ago or whatever, and if he's having bad a bad game, he's gone on like the sixth hole. Gone. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. He's just gone. Yeah. yeah. I, Jordan, I tried oh, pawning my clubs Jordan, after Jordan nine like, holes one time. Jordan will be like, you turn around, he's gone. Yep. Just yeah. No, he'll just disappear and he'll like bounce around on holes because he lives on this course right. that we play on. And it's like I'm when I say this is a nice course. This is a nice course and yes, probably Florida like private course right. size. And right. it was. And he just bounces around. He'll be that. He goes wherever. He don't. He does not <laughs> Stu, care. He'll just be gone. Like, Stu. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll just be gone. Um, yeah, we. Uh, it's so funny. Like his legacy. Like it's. It's just like you'd watch that Daytona thing, and you're like, what's Stu, what would Stu do this weekend? I forget Atlanta three. We're up in a press box with Brayton, and JT, myself, and Wygant. And then Brayton is like, I don't even remember what. It, maybe it was Atlanta two. I don't remember which one. Brayton was like, Hey, you guys think Stu does that? Like whatever we whatever we were looking at. You know, it's just like that's where we're at with him. It's just like a legacy of like, would Stu do yeah. that, or what? You, you yeah. know what I mean? And we and we break it down, and we like break it down. I'm like, ah, I think he would. Or, you know what I mean? I, I, yeah, it, it, <laughs> he he was uh, he definitely wasn't afraid. And like I said, like there's multiple times out there where like, and I like to jump, like obviously yeah, I like to do right. big jumps and stuff like that. And the Daytona one honestly might have like not scared me a little bit, but kind of made me settle down. And there were some quads <laughs> at Atlanta that. Like, yeah. were definitely doable that I didn't do. Like, there was one, I was probably halfway through the main event, and I was seriously, like, so close to, like, there was that, after the pit board, you were going, like, wheel tap and then triple single. 100% you could have quadded that. Like, yeah, no yeah. problem. Yeah. There was this problem making the corner. Right. And I was just so close to doing it, but probably better I don't. I don't <laughs> it wasn't necessary. I was losing the race in the other part of the track. So, um, no, it was, it, there's some jumps out there. A 450 can pretty much jump, right. jump anything. So. Yeah. Yeah, and especially now, like, you know, his bikes were carbureted. A lot of them were, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yours yeah. are – they're better now than they were when he raced. But to know? me, the coolest – Yeah, 100%. I don't want to take Chase's interview into a stew oh, – Go ahead. No, we're fine. But go ahead. the yeah. coolest part <laughs> to me about it was his – he would save it. And he would – Yeah. He'd get it out in the main event when – and just blow people's wigs back. How about he wouldn't yeah. ride the last practice? Yeah, he would ride such a two, strong move. He would ride two practices and call it a day. I know. That's a move. <laughs> I like it. That's playing the mental game. Right? That's everything. Like, yeah, I'm good. Dude, I don't need any more practice. I'm good. It's a move. I, I, I got like this, it. everybody. You're just like, wow. <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was a power move. If you did that nowadays, I mean, people would be. Right. I, I don't know what. I don't think they would know what to do because right. no one's done it. I mean, honestly, you could do it. I feel like we get yeah. plenty, oh, of, you get plenty sure. of practice. Plenty of practice. Do it next weekend, Chase. Yeah, at this point, I don't even care about qualifying. <laughs> like qualifying first is great, but I actually really but, like being first heat. So yeah, yeah, like second, I'm actually not mad at. Like yeah. Anderson passed me last lap this weekend, right. or was passed me for the pole. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I was usually I'm pretty bummed about it. But for the 2D, it's nice. Your second heat which is better. But 4D, I like being first heat. So I wasn't really bummed out about it. And yeah, if you if you're not worried about qualifying, cause it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. No, like, it I doesn't. That no. The hard way, the hard way, plenty of times. So, um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I it, you don't even need to do the last practice. I only the only way you do it is if you're doing bike setup stuff or um, trying to find like a setting. But yeah, yeah, he was telling me he's like, man, I just I learned the track the first practice and like he would, I mean, he would just tell me he's like, yeah, I mean, um, I knew no one beat my time. Cause he, I, I think he said he's like a second faster than anybody. He only did one lap in practice fast, so he's like, yeah, I just save it for the races. Cause, yeah, um, don't show your hand too about, much. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, there was there was a quad I did in Arlington. No, not Arlington. Uh, Houston, the second one, the one I crashed at, the one oh, on yeah. the section that yeah. I did first. And I, I, 
the sooner that I did it, I said that was stupid because I should have saved it for the race. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, and everyone ended up doing it. So right, right. no, he was not. That, that that's some balls to pull it in the race because if you crash, obviously that's um, going to cost you some time or possibly injured. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, it was, he he definitely was uh, very talented on a dirt bike. <laughs> yes, but, well, and I appreciate the gamesmanship of it, right? Like, because he's playing every card he ha- And I, I grew up in Florida, and I was, I'm very similar in age to James, so we were always at the same races a lot of times, and, and he would always win, right? Every single time he went. But sometimes yeah. it would go bad, and he would oftentimes leave. Like, he wouldn't race the <laughs> second moto because in Cycle News, they only print the top five results. So if he's not he wanted to be first or he didn't want to be there. Yeah, so yeah. like, so yeah. people just assume, Oh, he just didn't go to that yeah. race. Right. Like that was his That's move. Funny. Yeah. It's like a golf game. It's the same thing. He does yeah. Yeah. There. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah well, you're not going to beat me if I'm not there. Yep. Yeah. And that's why I, I've always,